I'm now going to show you how to create a mirror in Windows Home Server 2011. This is a second way of backing up your data as compared to the strictly backup only plan as we've talked about before. You can see that I have server folders on D, E, and F. My only data though is on D and E with F only being for computer backups. I will not be using C and F for data in this scenario. You can see I have a two terabyte drive and I'm now gonna remove that from my backups. Again, I had this two terabyte drive that was backing up data from D and E. D and E being each one terabyte drives and the two terabyte drive backing that data up. I'm now going to create a mirror that will automatically copy data from D and E to the two terabyte drive as the system is in use. I want to make sure that if I needed any of the backups off of the two terabyte drive that I had copied them before, but at this point I don't. So I'm going to change the server backups. I'm going to remove the two terabyte drive from the backup, leave the 500 gigabyte, stick with the twice a day schedule. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all things being backed up from the 500 gigabyte except for client computer backups and the operating system. You see with the mirror on the two one terabyte drives, that data will be covered. And all I have to worry about is the operating system and the client backups, which reside on C and F. I'll now click on next, apply the settings, and change the server backup. Once the server backup has been changed, you can click on apply, and you can click on close. Now just give it a moment and you'll see my two terabyte backup drive will hop into my two terabyte hard drives area. You can see now that it is available for adding as a server backup again or adding folders to. Now at this point, I'm gonna to go to server manager. Now to free up this drive, I need to delete the partition that has all of those backups on it. So you can see I have all of my disks here. I'm going to scroll down to my two terabyte drive. I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to delete the volume. Now this frees up the space and allows me to put mirrors on it. So I'll delete the volume. Yes, I want to delete it and yes, I will lose the data. It's just backups at this point and I'm okay with that. And now what I'll do is I'll go up to my first volume and I will right mouse click and I will add the mirror. You can see I have my drives D and E here. So I'll right mouse click and I'll add mirror. Okay, now for my second drive, you can see that I don't have the ability to add the mirror. So I've got a problem here. How can I not add the second disk? Two terabytes equal one, sorry, two terabytes equal two one terabyte drives. You can see I have 931.51, which is currently syncing, but I don't know how to do this. So what I'm gonna do is I have to look at the amount of space that's in my second drive, and I have to look at the space that's in my mirror drive. Now you can see I have 931.51 for disk D, and it's currently syncing, and I have 931.51 for disk E, they're identical. But notice in disk three, which is my mirror, I have 931.50. I need to shrink my disk two by 10 megabytes so it will fit on the mirror drive. Once I've done that, you can see now it's just a little bit of space. This is just a little bit of housekeeping. I can now add the mirror and it will now put that onto my dynamic disk or my mirror drive. You can see now I can click on that. I can add the mirror. Am I sure I wanna do that? Yes. Now at this point, disk D is being mirrored to my disk three that's down here, and my disk E is being mirrored to the disk three also. So now anything put on disks one and two, which are drives D and E, will now be mirrored to this two terabyte drive. Again, you may have to do a little bit of, of shrinking of the volume to get the numbers to match. Again, 10 megabytes, which you can see ends up being 11, isn't a big deal. Uh, it's, it's, it's a minimal loss of space, but this allows now anything at this point from E and D to be mirrored onto this two terabyte drive. Now it's the next morning. It took about eight hours uh, for the syncing process to take over. You can see now that I have my C and my F drive, which is my main 500 gigabyte system drive. And then you can have 
my D and my E drives, which are now mirrored to my two terabyte drive here. You see D and D and E and E, and that little bit of unallocated space to make the numbers match. Now again, for this to work, uh, I had to mirror my first drive, D, my one terabyte drive, to my two terabyte drive, and then I had to remove a little bit of space. I had to shrink the volume just a little bit to get it to fit on the two terabyte drive. Now within the Windows Home Server 2011 dashboard, I won't see that mirrored drive. I'm still only going to see my D and my E drive. And this will only work if you mirror the data drives that you're using. You can see that I have my backup here, but when I look at my server folders, you'll be able to see that I have all of my data on D and E. Now that data is being again mirrored. My data on my F, which is my client backups, will be backed up through the backup itself. You can see hard drives D and E. Okay. You can also see my backup G, which hasn't been initialized yet because I was doing the mirror setup. So what I can do is I can double click on server. You can see here that an unsuccessful backup yesterday at noon because I was doing the mirror at noon and I had to cancel it out. So now what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll set up the backup. So I'm going to set the backup for the server. You saw me do this earlier, but I had to disconnect it because it was stalling the mirror process. So I will go through next. Uh, I will use this 500 gigabyte. Remember, this 500 gigabyte is just basically going to back up the, excuse me, is basically just going to back up the computer client backups and back up the operating system itself. And I'll just do this at noon now because I don't really care when it happens. So I will go through and I'm going to use the operating system, but I'm not going to use drive two because drive two is being mirrored. I'm not going to use drive three, excuse me, uh, drive one because it's being mirrored. And I'm just going to use local disk F. So I'm going to keep everything on F, everything on the operating system, but the rest of it's not going to be backed up because it's mirrored. Click on apply settings. I'm now done. So hopefully this isn't confusing. Again, what you need to do is free up the data on the drive that you want to add the mirrors to. Then you want to individually add mirrors to that drive, or if it's the same size drive, for example, if you have a two terabyte drive, you can mirror the two terabyte drive. Then you want to go through and adjust your backups to back up anything that wasn't covered in the mirror. You can see now that I'm ready to go with that. I go to my hard drives and you can see I have C and F being backed up to my free agent and I have D and E being mirrored. Check back with using windowshomeserver.com for all of your needs for Windows Home Server 2011.